Hey, I've lost 180 pounds on a meat-focused diet. I've done keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Well, I'm experimenting with carnivore again. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hey there. It is um, creamy time, and I'm going to be making six today, and um, I'll show you how I do it. So I have these keto chows that were kindly gifted to me, and um, so... Um, I've been slowly whittling them down one day at a time. And um, so what I do is I just pick, like I pick a flavors to make uh, two per keto chow flavor. And so I use the keto chow, half of a keto chow. And then this is the prime equipped, uh, prime equip uh, protein powder. And I have different flavors. Um, I got mine on Amazon. You can use whatever protein powder you like. I like this combination because the keto chow, I, I haven't bought any. Well, I bought a couple, but um, <clears throat> for cost effective and for flavor, um, I am somebody who comes at this from a binge eating disorder. And so for me, it's much better if something is not as super sweet, strong. So by the keto chow is extremely amazing flavor, and so I need to dilute it a little bit. So I use half keto chow and half equip prime. But so I know people usually ask me, why do you, you know, why do you do something, two different ones? And because keto chow automatically has all the thickeners in it, the equip brand does not have a bunch of thickeners or um, other things in it. So I personally like the really thick, scoopable ice cream um, texture. I prefer that over that whipped soft serve texture. So I have, I add something called xanthan gum and glucomannan. Um, this I got at Walmart. This I got at, um, I think Amazon. So what I've done is I've taken these two things and I put an even amount of them into this container. So it's half glucomannan and half xanthan gum. So if I use a, um, a full teaspoon, then it's half, half a teaspoon of each of those. If I use a half teaspoon, then it's an eighth teaspoon of each of those. So I just wanted to kind of make that clear. And I've also used gelatin, like the unflavored gelatin before. Um, <clears throat> I've tried different ways. And my personal preference is with the the mixture of these two. I know some people just use one or the other or they use something totally different. Um, and so, anyway, this is just, just what works for me. So I wanted to kind of get the ingredients out of the way so that way you kind of know where we're at with that. Um, typically, now one of these I just washed. I gotta figure out which one it is. Um, so typically what I do is I get my scale and I start off by putting Okay, it's not either of these two. I look and see what the weight is of this one, and it's 42, 41 grams. So now I am going to zero each one of these out, and I'll put 20 grams in each of these. And while I'm at it, I go on and write the, the main keto chow on the top of, of a sticky note. And what I've been doing lately is, is switching up the flavors. So like one of these pumpkins I might use, and I don't know which one I'm going to use, but like one of them I might use caramel and the other I might use chocolate. Or one of them I might add peanut butter or the other one I might add vanilla. So, uh, and I'll, I'll show you. So right now I'm just getting these uh, initial flavors added. And then that way whenever I mix them up in my shaker cup, I don't have to do anything but just dump it in. So we're going to use, which one was this? This is caramel. And one serving is 26 grams. So a half serving is 13 grams. So I just kind of get roughly a half scoop. Okay, and that is not 13. And I just build it on the scale. Okay, so there's 13. So I'll use caramel in one. It's actually salted caramel. So I'll use caramel in one. So I'm going to write caramel. And then the other one, I think I'll use a vanilla. So then I write caramel and 
vanilla. And I try, I try to keep them, um, <clears throat> I put this on one of the lids and then I try to keep this like separated so I know um, which one is which. Sometimes I move them around and I don't know which one's which, but that's okay, that's okay. So, <clears throat> they're about the same color, honestly. So then I'll just kind of stick this on a lid and I'll just set it back here. And like I said, I'll try to keep vanilla and caramel. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. This is pecan sticky bun. And this one is 41 grams. So as long as I go around 20, you know, one, it might be 20.5 or 20 point something. But anyway, so now I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm gonna divide this between the two and I'll be back. So I lied. <laughs> I uh, forgot to add the glucomannan and xanthan gum. Um, I typically use the half teaspoon, which means, I think I said it wrong well ago. So uh, it means a fourth teaspoon of each, not, a, not an eighth. I don't know what I was saying well ago. Um, so a half teaspoon in each. So half of a half is a fourth. So this is, each, con each of these containers has a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum and a fourth teaspoon of glucomannan. So now I'll set that over there out of the way. And um, I just wanted to be clear. So this has half serving of the keto chow, half serving of the equip, and a fourth teaspoon of glucomannan and a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and make this sticky bun. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've divided it out. Now I'm gonna go on and add my thickener to it. Again, there's all different kinds of thickeners out there. You just go with what works for you and you don't even need one. Keto Chow is really, really good and thick, so you don't even need one. Um, but, but I, like I said, I like that texture. So if you're, per, if you like that, C-H-O, how come I can't spell chocolate? Choco, there we go. I can't spell chocolate in my head. All right, so we'll do caramel first. And sometimes you find you have one that's 20 and one that's 21, and that's all right. So yeah, we're gonna do one that is 13 grams. Again, that's half the serving of the Equip Prime. And if I get 14, 13, I don't cry. So caramel in one, and we're gonna do chocolate in the other. Okay, so now get my little when I put these into the refrigerator, the way it works is I leave the lids off all of them. I used to not, but I found that now, I found that um, for a while the bump wasn't affected, but for whatever reason now, the bump is affected. So um, so if I do the, um, um, if I leave the lids off for like the first night, and then the next night I go in, I put the lids on all of them, but I don't make two stickers. So I just keep this kind of between them and then I'll, I put them in on shelves this way. So whichever second flavors on this side means it's on that side and that side is that side. So that's just kind of how my brain does it. All right, now our last one here. I guess I dried it off good enough that I can't tell the difference. So the last one here, we're gonna do orange cream. And this one's also 41 grams. So I'm gonna divide this between the two containers. So um, I just had to ask Alexa because I throw my containers away. Um, the chocolate had 110 calories in the Equip protein powder. Um, these Keto Chows has 100. Each one will vary, so you, you please understand. So by doing half and half, each one of these creamies ends up being approximately, sorry about that, each one of these um, these containers when they're done and all creamed up it's approximately 100 115 to 130 at max um, calories so if you are counting calories and you're wanting them to be low calorie this is great um, you also are getting your protein from the protein powder if you're trying to increase your protein in life so these are just kind of match various ways of eating so um, I just wanted to tell you that before I go any further so I got that divided into these give me just a second Okay, so now I'm going to add my thickener. Okay, all right. 
So we have thickener in all of them, so I can go ahead and put that way away before I spit it and make a mess here. Now, that was orange cream. So now I'm going to add, I want vanilla in one, so vanilla is going to be on this side, so I'll put it over here. And again, half serving of vanilla. And then a half serving of strawberry. I just think that'd be kind of fun. We've got orange cream. So orange with strawberry vanilla or, you know, orange cream with strawberry and orange cream with vanilla. I think those are kind of light, fun flavors. So I'm going to go on and kind of put this away and kind of clean up around a little bit and I will be back to mix them up. So in the meantime, you might be able to hear it. My water is running. Um, I want it a little on the warmer side. I don't need it scalding hot or anything. But um, what I like to do is stick with the flavors like that I wouldn't necessarily want to get into the others. Like, <coughs> I don't want pumpkin spice or pecan sticky bun in the orange. So I'm going to go ahead now and pour this one. And this is the orange cream and strawberry. And I added up to about the anywhere between the 14, 15 line. And I'll be right back. And again, I don't want it scalding because I found out the hard way with coffee before in this shaker cup. If you get it too hot and you shake it, the lid pops open and it splashes all over. So now I just shake it up. You could use a blender, um, an immersion blender, whatever you want. What I have found in the past is that the immersion blender definitely gets it mixed up better. Um, the... The... Um, the Equip oftentimes comes out a little on the unmixed side. It doesn't mix quite as well as the Keto Chow because e Pro Equip is just protein powder. Um, uh, the Keto Chow is a meal replacement. Oop, I need a little bit more. So I can't tell you how much water to add. I feel till it's like I, I rinse this out a couple times until it reaches where I want it on the line, but by rinsing this out, I'm kind of rinsing the outer side, out of the outer, I'm rinsing it out on the inside as well. So there's that one. Once I get this wet, I prefer to put a little water in it and before I add the powder, because it kind of clings to the side. So I'm gonna add a little more water, I'll add it, I don't know, just enough, hang on. Okay, so just enough, because if I don't, then it really clings to the ball and makes a mess. So this is the orange cream and vanilla. So again, by getting these all prepped up before I mix them, it really helps. So then all I have to do is add it and add the water and not think about anything. And let me see if you can see this. I've been told by people, if you leave these sitting out a little while um, in the refrigerator, it does blend up a little bit better, but you can see the chunks of strawberry protein powder and that's the equip so right, hang on let me get you back up here all right so i'll put that back in its place now i'm going to add enough water again to be about the 14 15 march mark because mine holds 16 ounces so i don't want it to be higher than 16 so i'll be right back by the way you're off if your watch picks up uh has fall detection you might want to take it off whenever you shake these up. I've had this thing multiple times say, it appears you've taken a hard fall. And I have to click, no, I didn't fall. So, um, so anyway, I don't know if you have a watch that picks up fall detection. But um, if you do, it might ask you if you've fallen. Now, see, see all this stuff that adheres to the edge? So, again... That's why I don't fill it up to the 16 so I can clean that off with the excess water. Just a second. Okay. Just got as much. And again, by using that hot water, it helps it break up better. But there's still some, so. And I said hot water. It's not hot, hot water, but warm water. So now... This set is done, and I'm going to show you how I put it in my freezer. Hang on. 
So I had one left right here, and um, I'm just going to stick it over here, and I'll use that one tonight whenever I have it. Um, now, let me show you how I set these in here. I keep the strawberry on the left and the vanilla on the right. And again, this is just for my OCD brain. If you don't care which one you're eating, then, you know, and you're just going to eat it, it don't matter. And then I like to stick that lid just kind of back there so I can have it. And then later on, whenever I go to put it on, then like tonight or when they freeze, I'll put the lid on. And I'll, I'll remember to tell you guys that when I eat it, this one's strawberry and this one's vanilla. So, all right, let's make the other four. So I've rinsed this out pretty good, and now I've got a little water in the bottom. Um, something I found, like once you've sh you've done a shake, or even once you've done one, this top is wet. So sometimes if you start shaking really hard after you add the powder, that powder will stick to the lid and be hard to get off. So like at this stage, not I kind of give it a little swirl too. Um, it just kind of helps the top layer get moist and keeps that powder from being on right on the top and then just sticking to the top. So now I'm going to fill it up to about the, where is it? About the 14, 15 mark and I'll be right back. So now, like I said, I've swirled it a little bit just to kind of get that top to not be so powdery. And then I'm going to shake it up. I've had it, what happens is it gets all up in that, this lid area it's all powdery and it's a mess and I have to get in there and kind of scoop my finger around. Y'all know I don't like messes, it's just who I am. So this is a pecan sticky bun caramel. Isn't that funny? I say I don't like messes and yet I got four messy dogs. Anyway, all right, now I'm gonna rinse this out. And there you go. So this is how I make them. So I'm going to go on and do these other three off camera. You don't have to watch me do all of them. I do the exact same thing. So um, so that was the pecan sticky bun and caramel. And it's got this foam on the top, which is what I don't like. But by sitting here a little bit, that foam will go down some. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so yeah. So I'm going to get going and I will be back when they're all done. And I'll show you how I keep I put them in the freezer. All right. I'm on the last one. Something I want to say, I've had people say, well, that sure is a lot. I don't know if I can eat that much. That makes total sense. Um, you know, I, I am personally a bulk eater. So um, for me, I need that, um, that large amount. But if you think about it, it's, it's water. That's, that's what makes it bulky. And, that, you know, that um, water is what makes me feel full and what satisfies my brain by feeling full. And again, I do not use these as meal replacements. So some people do, and that's perfectly cool. But since I don't use these as meal replacements, I don't add all the things. Like I know some people are like, wait a minute, keto chow, you need to add a fat to it. Well, I eat my supper, and immediately after I eat my supper, which usually it's some kind of fatty meat um, and, or whatever, right after I eat my supper, I will um, eat my creamy. So I still have the fat from my supper in my stomach. And so that's helping to draw out the extra the extra vitamins and, and whatnot out of the keto chow. So I just want to point that out because a lot most of the time people say, wait a minute, you're supposed to use keto chow as a meal replacement or you're supposed to add a fat. And that's but you'd only add need to add a fat if you are using it as a meal replacement because you're not getting your nutrients. Obviously, like I said, I eat my supper and then I use these. So, all right, let me show you how I store them. Okay, so there's all six. We've got the orange cream with strawberry vanilla. We have the pecan sticky bun with caramel and chocolate. I like when they're totally different colors. It makes it a little more obvious if I accidentally mix them up. Cause like, look at this one. This is that pumpkin spice with vanilla and caramel. Can't tell the difference. I mean, there's more foam on the caramel, but, um, other than that, the color is pretty much the same. There's a little difference in the color between the strawberry and vanilla one. Um, but anyway, so now that's why I like to, I'm learning to label them. And then I just freeze them. And then, like I said, tomorrow when they are all frozen solid, I put the lid on them. And um, now that they've been sitting a little longer, I want you to see. 
on this chocolate one. You see the floating on the top of the chocolate. You see floating on top of this one. Hopefully you can see that. Because that is the, um, that's the equip because it doesn't shake up as much as the others. And that's okay though. I don't, that's not something I care about. So um, again, I'm not really, I ain't really a texture person. I know, I know. Anyway, so there you go. All right, I'll see you when we try them. Hey, 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 I got my creamy. And um, tonight this is, we're doing the pumpkin spice with caramel in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Half keto chow, pumpkin spice, and half equip prime protein caramel. That's good stuff. Good job, Tear Tear. That's the texture it gets, and it is delicioso. Mm-hmm. Bye. Hey, hey, this is, I had to write it down so I could remember. It's pecan, sticky bun, and chocolate. So this is what that one looks like. Now, let's see. I taste the pecan. I taste the sticky bun. That flavor with chocolate. It's almost like a like a like a bun, a honey bun, a pecan honey bun with chocolate icing. But It's a light enough flavor by mixing them like that that it doesn't trigger me. So if you're somebody who's triggered by strong sweet flavors, then don't use a full serving of the keto chow. Do half keto chow and half some other protein powder that's not as strong. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Okay, the flavor now is orange cream. It's the keto chow orange cream with vanilla. I think this is gonna feel like one of those push pops, the push ups. Is that what it was? It's exactly what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. So I moved my Ninja Creamy over here. I'm gonna show you right quick. Because the way I do it, I'm gonna turn it so you can see. There is this button that says light cream. I'll show you. Hang on. Anyway, yeah, so this orange cream with vanilla, it tastes just like those sherbet push pop uh, ice cream things that were in the roll of toilet paper that we used to love as kids. Very, very good flavor. So this is how I do it. You know, I put my little thing in there and I put my lid on and I, hang on, it's dripping. When you're done with it, you always wanna make sure you wipe this off. I'm just demonstrating on another one. So uh, <clears throat> always, there's this little, little jobber right here, this little metal piece, and that is what goes, that's what feeds the blade down into the ice cream. So you always wanna make sure you wipe it off, and then I wipe it off with a bleach wipe when I'm done, but we're not there yet. So I take it and pop her in, make sure you can see, pop it in, and then I use light ice cream. I don't know why, but the things that I've read, if you're using like the creamy things, like a heavy cream or, and milky fatty things, they say you wanna use ice cream. But if it's more of a water-based, like mine are, um, the light ice cream. I think somebody else said they use gelato, but anyway, I'm gonna use the light ice cream. And I do it twice. <clears throat> okay, so it spins twice on that light ice cream. And I take it out, and you can... Oh, that was just the first one, Terry. See, it's all... Um, oh, you keep forgetting you're over there. It's the... Um, it's all powdery. So I put the lid back on it. And I usually do this. That's what I do. That's how I roll. That, and then a second round. Okay, so that was round two. And there's usually a little bit more on it. Pop her open. And this is pumpkin spice and caramel. Let's give it a whirl. Pumpkin spice. So half keto chow pumpkin spice and then half of, what I say? Caramel. Half the equip, equip uh, prime, prime, anyway, whatever it was, the equip is the brand in prime protein powder caramel. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff, Maynard. All right, I'm just gonna try them all today. 
because I'm off of work today. So we're just going to try them on. And you're just going to get to watch me with the same hairdo and the same thing. And that's kind of cool because I'll see how it works if I've already ran it through. Like, what does it do to it later on whenever I eat it again? Dang it, you're over there. Sorry. I keep forgetting. I'm going to run it. We'll run one through. Like, it's like it's 9 to 12 o'clock. But I want to do these so that way we can try them. And then tonight, whenever I have it, um, you'll just have to watch whatever tonight's video is to know. Hopefully, I'll remember to tell you. All right, bye. So, this one is the Keto Chow Pecan Sticky Bun with the Equip Prime Caramel. So, let's try this one. Mm-hmm. Listen, I may have said it 20 times, but I'll say it again. I cannot really, as somebody who is a binge eater and who gets triggered, I really have to minimize certain, like, um, sugary, sweet treat type flavors, like, make them less. So, this right here... Being half is so perfect. The It tastes amazing when you use the just a whole serving for them. But because a whole serving tastes so delicious, last time I did have a whole serving, and even whenever I drink them, I just drink the Keto Chow drink shakes on the vacation, it always still leaves me wanting more. But these, whenever I do it this way, it's not bad at all so you know of course you have to do what's best for you but um, you know if if you could have a whole keto chow rock on with your bad self if you need something with much 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 less muted flavor buy the equip prime protein powder um, but like I said for me blending the two together it's just enough flavor but it doesn't leave me like I need more I need more I need more all right we got one more Okay, so something, um, I just ran it through once. Um, I like to, while, because my, because my water takes a while to heat up. Man, I was at my sister's house. Holy moly, y'all, hers like scalded me just like that. But anyway, so whenever I start the second one, like it's, this one is just ran through once. Before I start the second one, or when I do, I go on to get my water heated up and I'll show you my cleaning process as we go. So before I eat this one, typically what I do is I pull it out, lick the top, got my hot water running. Come on, let me just show you. Hot water running, and I just let it run until all of the all of the visible is out of there. In the meantime, I have a little thing, and I got some Dawn, or whatever dishwashing detergent you prefer. I'm back to the end of it. Then I run it through. Hang on, I'll be back whenever it's full. Okay, when it's reached the top, and it, or almost top, I go on to rinse the lid and the blade. Now I ain't saying this is the right way, this is just what I do. So then I rinse it, and I drop the blade and the lid down in there. And then um, I come back, I bring a paper towel and a bleach wipe. Come on over here now. This is what I do before I start eating. So I just take a paper towel and wipe this off, wipe off the blade. I have to do it a couple times. Then I have one of my Lysol bleach wipes. Let me tip it up so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So then I go through and I clean all this off. Clean the blade off. And I watched a video once where he took his old one apart and um the, there was not any um, yucky cream up inside of there, yucky stuff. So then I wiped that off, and then I kind of wiped this off just in case it's wet. So from this point, I usually go ahead and eat my creamy. So now, let's taste the creamy. Also, sometimes like uh, it'll splash out and get a little bit on the bottom of this. If it doesn't, I don't do anything. If it does, I just let this soak in that water too. Tonight, we have orange cream. Keto Chat Orange Cream with Strawberry Equip. And yeah, let's see how that tastes. So, strawberry and, and orange cream. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes like Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. If any of y'all grew up eating Fruity Pebbles, or if y'all ate it, 
Eat it now. That's what it tastes like. Mm hmm. All right. That's all the flavors. Now I'm going to let this soak. And like I said, tonight I'll pick one of these flavors and I'll run it through again and we will see just how, how it would work if somebody decided to do a bunch ahead of time. I don't know. We will see. But anyway, so I'm going to pop this one back in the freezer and in a little while we'll come back and clean that. Okay. Again, this is my method, not the right method, but what I either do, I either kind of swish it around uh, or a lot of times I take this brush and I just kind of... Just give it a little swishy swish. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic or serious, you know, because I don't have a milky product in it, but still, then I shake it a little bit. And then I pull out the blade, give that a little scrubby scrub. Then I rinse it off. And then put this back. And then I do this. I mean, like, this is literally what I do every night takes about three minutes, if that, but it might even just take a minute and a half, but y'all, I get ice cream for 120 calories, and then I just put like a little paper towel that I, I reuse the same paper towel to catch all the drying, and then I give this a little shake, I stick it, this side has like a little nook and cranny, where are you at, right here, a little nook and cranny, so I get a little shaky shake, and I drop it in there, I give this a shaky shake, I drop it in there, and I set this on top of it, and I just have a plate that I set it on. And now, I'll show you where I put it. Hang on. For absolutely no reason at all, other than I don't use this space during the week, I just stick it over here, and that's where it hangs out every night. So, that's literally, ooh, boy, that's busy behind me. It's busy everywhere in my house. I'm just a busy girl. I'm just chaotic. Let it go, let it go, don't pay no attention to my mess. Anyway, so yeah, so that's how I do it, and like I said, every night, and the, whatever protein powder you choose to use, that's the amount of calories that you're getting oh. as your snack or, or um, side. I use creamies as a side dish, so I have my main meal, and then I have my protein creamy with it. It just tastes good. And it helps me. I'm staying on track with my macros. And if it on, I feel kind of like I'm cheating. I didn't have to go out and buy a container of ice cream that had all kinds of stuff in it. I'm able to look at whatever protein powder blows my skirt up. Whatever protein powder I feel like is, is has the quality I want it to have. And whenever I do that, and then I have that for my, for my side dish at supper. All right, I'm shutting up. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I told you all I wanted to microwave, or uh, I ran the creamy earlier, and then now it's 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 been, I don't know, about four hours later, and I'm ready to eat it. Rock hard. Well, I mean, it's like, like just a little tiny bit at a time. You got to shave it off. So when it says max fill line, I think that is because it's, um, you know, the blade has to get in there and everything. So anyway, and so since I creamed it up, you know, you see is like no room for the blade. So I think that's the whole point of um, not, but part of the point for that max fill line. So anyway, I tried it and it wouldn't work. And, but that's okay because I'm going to be eating my supper and then I'll be eating this. So it'll defrost some. Still tastes good. So, all right. That's the end of the creamy video. Bye.